Deadly airstrikes killing dozens overnight in Gaza. The United Nations Relief Agency says that the images are, quote, hell on earth. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu acknowledging that there was a, quote, technical failure after the strike going on to call it a tragic mistake. At least 45 people were killed, more than 240 injured when Israeli fighter jets launched missiles into Rafah. That's according to Action Aid UK. The IDF claiming that two senior Hamas officials were killed and that they are aware of several civilians in the area that were harmed. The IDF continues to operate in Rafah, saying it needs to destroy what they call the last Hamas stronghold. They say they took several measures to protect civilians before conducting the strike and that currently that incident is under review. Senior White House correspondent Selena Wang is joining us with more on this. So, uh, Selena, do we have any reaction from the White House yet on this today? Yeah, Kena, well, the White House is calling this heartbreaking and devastating, and they say that they're working with their Israeli counterparts to figure out what exactly happened. But Kena, as we've seen before, this administration is trying to walk this very, very fine line. We've seen them be highly critical of Netanyahu and their conduct in this war. At the same time, they reiterate that Israel has a right to defend itself. And in their statement today, Kena, in reaction to this, the White House saying that this strike did kill two Hamas senior leaders, but also said that Israel needs to do everything they can to protect civilians. Now, the president, of course, has repeatedly warned Netanyahu not to launch that full-scale attack of Rafah. The National Security Council has said that so far what we're seeing is targeted, that we haven't seen this full-scale invasion yet. But the question is, if the strike that led to dozens of civilians dead, if that changes the calculus at all, and if they still maintain that Israel's action in Rafah has been targeted. Thank you.